Still getting it in your man, DJ Aiken Tampa's most connected DJ. Mm. Every <laughs> once in a while, man, you, you run across somebody just go, mm, why am I living here? Why? Just like, why? Like, I mean, moved to Florida for school, got this little job here in 95.7 to be. Things are looking up for me. And then all of a sudden I think about, mm, why didn't I ever just, just go across the board and go to Canada? I don't know. Mm, the lovely Miss Melanie Fiona here. How you doing, sweetie? I'm good. How are you? Mm. <laughs> I am so trying to stay focused. I, and, and, uh, this is going to be my new thing. Whenever somebody asks me, I'm just going to go. Mm. And you know what? And, and, and I, don't mean, I don't mean to sound like a superficial DJ. Seriously. Okay. I don't. I okay. don't. But you, and let, I don't even know how to put this without sounding like the superficial DJ. You know how you see pictures and you be like, mm, could be a lot of makeup. Mm, I'm just not quite sure. And then, you know, Ike is my man over at SRC. Shout out to Ike. Shout out to Ike. But he known to put a slant on things for his own artists. <laughs> like the dude was like, dude, I'm telling you, she's hot. Like as hot as the pictures. And like I said, not to sound like the superficial DJ, but she's hot, fellas. She, mm, mm. Thank now, you. Now let's get to the business at hand because I am, I and, and, and I got to say there's got to be Lots of brains attached to this beauty because here we are. Give it to me right. Give it to me right. The single. Mm. It I'm is. Feeling it. Feeling it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, because you know, we ba- we banging it here. And 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 for my PD to jump on a record, you had to be doing something right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, and let's just get into it. How, where did the record come from? The record came from, gosh, I have too much attitude sometimes. I forget. So the writer of the record, her name is Andrea Martin. She's an amazing artist, singer, songwriter, producer. Right. And we work very, very closely together. And, um, you know, she knows me personally. She knows me professionally. And uh, we're sitting down talking and having a conversation one day. And I'm a really kind of no-nonsense person. I just, I don't have time for BS, so to speak. Mm. I don't like people, you know, talking Mm. crap and whatever. So anyways, so she was, we were talking about relationships and guys. And she was talking about, you know, you traveling and your boyfriend and da-da-da-da-da. Right. And I said some comment like, him break up with me? Are you crazy? Whoa, whoa. And she, and she, <laughs> she laughed so hard. And then she called me like a week later. She's like, girl, I got a record for you. It's called Give It To Me, Ride It Don't Give It To Me At All. And I said, okay. Mm-hmm. So she played it for me. And uh, and it was it was perfect. It is exactly like my brain on paper. So pretty much this is how you feel. Absol- oh, absolutely. Or else I wouldn't sing it. No, but that, that, that's really who I am. I'm really like a... No nonsense kind of person. I mean, just it's a good motto. Like, right. give it to me, write it, don't give it to me at all. Tell that to your boss. Tell that to your husband, your wife, your friends. The job situation is kind of crazy, so I'm going to hold back, <laughs> like, you know, telling that to my well, you, boss. Just... Well, you save that card when you have to. <laughs> That's what I'll do. It's a recession, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> and speaking of things, not even moving too fast for ourselves. Um, Like I said in the beginning of this thing, coming out of Canada, Toronto. That's right. So how did we get to the situation of you being associated with SRC, Mr. Steve Rifkin, and, and the whole into the United States type thing? How'd that happen? Uh, not easily, believe me. Um, so coming from the, from Toronto, you know, I met my production label, which is Title IX, based out of California. Right. Um, and, you know, we started with complete artist development, went down, you know, recording with different producers and writers and working, figuring out what I wanted to do, what I didn't want to do. Right. Going to different labels, shopping the deal, having people understand it, having people not understand it, having people try to change me, um, even having visa issues to get into the United States to work. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They held your girl for eight months. Thanks. Thanks, uh, Homeland wow. Security. But we made it. We got this visa now. But um, in 2007, after going to all the labels, I met Steve Rifkin, and uh, he heard the few songs that I had cut for the demo, which were starting the album, and uh, he just loved it. He got it. He was like, this is amazing. I don't want to change you. I want. I love the direction that you're going. I love the music. I think you're a star, and I want to do this. Um, and, you know, he flew me to New York after we met, like, a week later, and the next day the deal was on the table. And, um, you know, I kind of – I had a, I had a couple other offers on the table, and I had to turn them down because – Steve kind of gave you what you needed. Exactly. And, like, really, it was giving it to me right. Wow. That's the, it. And there we go back to and that And there phrase. it is, back to the shameless plug. But so, that's it. <laughs> but that, but that's really what it was. Like a lot of other artists were, I mean, a lot of other labels were like, we love you, you're fantastic, but we might want to have you do this, so we might want to have you do that. And I was like, but that's not really what I want to do. But you talk about this thing like, you, you know what I'm saying, like you like it's been a minute. And you don't look to be, and I'm not deprived, you don't look to be that old. So, no, I'm not. <laughs> you know, so how long, when you started this whole thing, when you decided that professionally singing was going to be a thing or whoever helped you decide, how old were you then? Oh, I was... Well, I'm 101 now, so that would make me about 98. <laughs> 98, yeah. I was 98 years old when it happened. Right. Um, no, you know, it's been about four or five years in the process. We're, like, really into making. And, you know, I kind of got the bug for it when I was a teenager in high school in, um, right. in Toronto, and I started working locally in Toronto. 
And then when I got the opportunity to go to the state side, I mean, that's when you're in Toronto, it's huge. Like, that's just that's what you dream about. Right. Because there's a ceiling in Toronto and you got it in Canada and you kind of got to break it to go to the States. OK. So. um, So, yeah, when you know, when I got the opportunity, it was kind of just like, all right, well, this is what I want to do. And I picked up and I just left. OK. And I just there was no. There was no half stepping from there. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna stop right here for a second, and we and we're gonna let you introduce the record, and then we'll come back because it's a lot more of your business. I think I want to get into, mm-hmm. but uh, we'll just mm-hmm. start with uh, mm, give it to me right. Can you introduce the record right here, to everybody here in Tampa Bay? Absolutely. What's going on, Tampa? This is your girl Melody Fiona, and you're about to check out my new single, "Give It To Me Right." Mm. Or don't give it to me at all. With your boy DJ Eken, check it out.